everyone, I'm Dave Zarin. Thanks for joining us today on It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points in this opening round. 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should our teams miss. And teams, our category is alternative last names. I'm going to give you a list of famous persons, all of whom have been given alternative last names. Get the real names, just change each alternative name to its synonym. Sounds complicated, but you're going to have fun with this. Here we go. Rosa Public Spaces. Howard. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, yeah. Spark the Montgomery bus boycott. Franklin Stab, 14th President of the United States. Reservoir. Pe Franklin Pierce. Pierce, that's it. Stab to Pierce. Thomas Additional, author of Utopia. Thomas Moore. More in additional. Next. Steph Indian Seasoning. Be yes, Howard. Steph Curry. Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. That's it. Tim Chief, the current CEO of Apple. Tim Cook. Yes. Tim Cook. That's right. It should have been Chef. Not, you, got, you were way ahead of me on that one. Alice Pedestrian, author. Yes. Alice Walker. Alice Walker of the Color Purple. Bruno Red Planet. Howard. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, Grammy winning singer. See if you get this one. Larry, traditional Navajo hut, current governor of Maryland. Reservoir. Larry Hogan. Hogan it is. And that's the end of the opening round on It's Academic. <laughs> Academic brought to you by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. And by Morgan State University. Growing the future, leading the world. Our team is dynamite. Our team is tick, 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 tick. Boom, dynamite. Boom, boom, dynamite. Dynamite. Our team is dynamite. Our team is tick, 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 tick. Boom, dynamite. Boom, boom, dynamite. Nice to have you here today on It's Academic. Yes, walking in front of your screen, there is a giant gator from Reservoir here. And the wonderful JV cheerleaders there. We have a step team from Reservoir. And what a crowd we have here today. Hold up your signs. Everybody has a favorite up here. We've got relatives and we've got administrators and teachers out there for nine great players. Let's meet the first three. They hail from Reservoir and Lillian and Camden. Nice to have you back. Jose, nice to have you here for the first time. Tell us about yourself, Lillian. Uh, hi, my name is Lillian. I am a senior at Reservoir High School. I am actively involved in the fine arts, music, and theater departments. That's wonderful. And I understand that your dad is actually an alum of It's Academic mm -hmm. and had played on the Glen L team. Dad, are you in the audience today? Dad, nice to have you back here. Hope this brings back good memories. Camden, tell us your story. My name is Camden. I'm a senior at Reservoir. Besides it's Academic, I'm student body president. I'm also on the golf team and member of Best Buddies Clubs. Ah, big man on campus, president of the class. All right. Jose, welcome to the show. Hi, nice to be here. I'm Jose. I'm a senior at Reservoir, and I'm um, my theater department stage manager and sound designer. All right. Well, you're a busy man there. Look at the monitor, please, Reservoir. These questions are for you. 20 points for you. No penalty should you miss. And we begin. Papa in England. You don't have to go to England to find in this phrase the last name of what pamphleteer of the American Revolutionary War, the author of Common Sense. Payne. Thomas Paine, that's it. A talc rope. The letters in this phrase can be rearranged to name what ancient Egyptian queen who roped Mark Anthony into a disastrous love affair? Cleopatra. That would be she. The call of the blank and the blank duck. What same words should be inserted into the blanks to name a Jack London novel and a play by Henrik Ibsen? Mighty. No, wild. The call of the wild and the wild duck. Next, here's a choice. Choose among Mount St. Helens, Mount Washington, and Mount Whitney. Of these three U.S. mountains, which one erupted and spouted lava from its summit in 1980? St. Helens. St. Helens. Thank you, Lillian, for your help. Lastly, education is the most important function of state and local government. These words were part of what 1954 Supreme Court decision that struck down segregated education. Brown versus Board of Ed. You got that right. Nicely done, Reservoir. Good round. Takes you 200 points. And moving next to 
the team from Howard and Jonathan and John and Tyler. You've all been here before. You've played this game so well. And Jonathan, tell us the Jonathan story. Uh, my name is Jonathan. I'm a, I'm a senior at Howard High School. And in addition to its academic, I'm a member of our tech and Matt. Our tech and National Honor Society, I'd like to thank our alternates for being here today. Yeah, alternates are so important on the team. Thank you, Jonathan. And, John, you're our captain. Uh, how many times have you played our game? Uh, this is my second year. Uh, I'm a senior here at Howard High School. In addition to its academic, uh, I'm a part of the Math National Honor Society and the National Honor Society. And I'd like to give a shout-out to Giant Foods. We appreciate that. We wouldn't be here without Giant Food. And, uh, John, you were the mascot, weren't you, before? You had the lion costume, and now you, you changed so exactly. a little bit. Yeah, Just you're a little. wonderful. Tyler, welcome back. Tell us your story. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm a junior at Howard. It's addition to its academic. I'm in the band and the tennis team and the Music Honor Society. I'd like to thank our lion for showing up. Yeah, that's right. You'll see that lion roar in just a few moments. What instrument do you play, Tyler? I play clarinet. Wonderful. Look at these gentlemen. These are for you. 20 points, no penalties. Do Shivers Ale Leslie. Hidden in this question is the name of what French palace noted for its hall of mirrors? Versailles. That's it. No evil out. You can avoid evil by rearranging the letters here to name what scientific theory published in 1859 by Charles Darwin? Evolution. Evolution. That's it. Fortune favors the blank, home of the blank. To complete these quotes from Virgil and Francis Scott Key, and what same word a synonym for courageous? Brave. Brave it is. Choose among Apache, Seminole and Mohawk. Which of these Indian tribes was native to the New York area? What you got? The first one. Uh, actually, the last one. Mohawk was the right answer there. Nobody has any right to quote anything I said in private. Back in the days when public figures had privacy, these were the words of what 26th president, a sportsman and big game hunter. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt. Nicely done, Howard. Takes you to 230 points. 230. And we move next to the team from Bel Air High School, and we're welcoming Arthur and Alicia back, the two A's over there, and Nathaniel in the stands before first time on set. Nice to have you here today. Arthur, tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm Arthur. I'm a senior, and along with the academic team, I'm in three honor societies, FCA, HOSA, and the Biomedical Sciences Program. And I'd like to thank Big Cat, our principal, Mr. Commander, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. Wow. You went through those honor societies real fast. <laughs> Not to diminish, that's quite an accomplishment. Congratulations you. to you, Arthur. Alicia, our captain, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm a senior at Bel Air, and in addition to its academic, I am a member of the National Honor Society, the Triam Music Honor Society, the Pop Choir, and I run soundboards for Artistic Synergy of Baltimore Theater Company. Nice. What a nice thing to do outside of school, Ed. Uh, bet you're good at it. Nathaniel, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Nathaniel. I'm a junior at Bel Air High School. In addition to its academic, I'm a member of the speech and debate team, the varsity track team, and the band. And I'd like to thank our coaches for being here, Ms. Repelt and Ms. Bates. I'll be up in a few moments. What instrument do you play? Clarinet. Clarinet, yeah. All right, two clarinets. I used to do the same thing. All right, these questions are for you. 20 points, no penalties. I must rent once. Hidden within this phrase is the name of what New Jersey site where a Revolutionary War battle took place? Trenton. Trenton it is. Come gain hell. Mm. The letters in this ominous phrase can be rearranged to name what Renaissance artist who painted a mural of the Last Judgment on the wall of the Sistine Chapel? Michelangelo. That's it. Crazy blank and light blank Harry Lee. Place with the same animal in both blanks to get the name of a Sioux Indian chief and the nickname of a colonial leader from Virginia. Horse. Horse, yeah, light horse Harry Lee. Choose among theocracy, plutocracy, and autocracy. Which of these terms refers to a community governed by religious beliefs in the clergy? Theocracy. First one, yes indeed. He's a self-made man who worships his creator. This observation was made about Horace Greeley, who lost the 1872 presidential election to what man, a former Civil War general? Uh, yeah, Grant. Grant it is. Nicely done. Perfect. Takes it at 200 points. 200. Well done.
Oh, the precision of the Reservoir Step Team. Girls, we're magnificent. Thanks for joining us today. You know, one of today's teams is moving on in our competition, but everybody is going home with something. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic. They'll be providing tickets next season for all of today's competing students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. To find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education, boy, they're having fun there. And then the lives of youth in our community, visit them at their website, OriolesReach.com. Before you head out to that ballpark, check us out on our It's Academic Facebook page. Tight game. Let's check that score before we ask any more questions. Reservoir is at 200. Howard is at 230. And Bel Air is at 200. Well played. We move next to the picture perfect round. Everybody plays. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points off should you miss. First picture coming into view, teams. Seen rising out of the water here is the chariot of what Greek god, sometimes referred to as Phoebus? Howard. Apollo. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. I heard that over here. Absolutely right. Next. The only way round is through. This travel advice was offered by what 20th century poet who wrote The Road Not Taken? Reservoir. Frost. Robert Frost. Nicely done, Camden. You could call this palace home if you were a member of the royal family of what Asian country where Bangkok is the capital? Thailand. Howard. Thailand. Thailand. Thailand it is. Yes, indeed. What's the value of this expression, giving your answer? Yes. Howard. Six. It is indeed six. Six, rather. Next. These gentlemen once served as presidents of Harvard, but the last U.S. president to graduate from Harvard was what 35th chief executive? Howard. Kennedy. JFK, you got it. The Suez Canal, completed in 1869, is the only waterway connecting the Mediterranean with what other reservoir? Red Sea. The Red Sea, it is Camden. Yes. Here's a choice. This woman is depicted in what art form? Mosaic, bar relief. Mosaic. Howard? Mosaic. It is indeed mosaic. Last picture. This is an illustration from Francis Parkman's historical work, whose title refers to the 19th century trail named for what West Coast state? Howard? Oregon. The Oregon Trail. And that is the end of our Picture Perfect Round. <laughs> Before we ask any more questions, let's make a few introductions. We'll go behind the scenes and meet the faculty, coaches, and administrators, and animals at our three fine schools. Let's go first to Reservoir, currently with 240 points. And that gator is very close to your head over there, Camden. Tell us who that is and who the other folks are. Well, to my right, we have our coach, Mr. Edwards. He teaches world history at Reservoir, and right next to him is our gator. Uh, behind me, we have one of our assistant principals, Ms. Levy. And to my left, we have Ms. Coker, our other coach, and she teaches U.S. history here at Reservoir. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Gator. Love to teach. All right, we move over to Howard, currently in the lead with 350 points. And uh, you're being photobombed back there, John. Tell us who's back there. So behind me is our illustrious coach, Dr. Bowling, who teaches math here at Howard High School. Behind me is Leo the Lion, has an important message. And over here we have our principal, Mr. Novak, who is an alum of its academic. Yes. What school did you play for, Dr. Novak? Uh, Oxen Hill High School. Oxen Hill. Well, nice to have you here today. This has got to bring back memories. Thank you, Lion. And with 200 points at Bel Air, Alicia, would you tell us your, who your two coaches are? To my right, we have Mr. Pelt. She teaches calculus and trig. And to my left, we have Ms. Bates, who teaches algebra... Uh, trig and pre-calc. Boy, that's an awful lot for both of them. Thank you both for being here, for all you do and the support you give us. Now, in our next round of questioning, if our teams answer all eight of our questions correctly, we make a big fuss, we light up lights, we release balloons, we even have special music, and those lights are flashing in front of you, John, and uh, got a little uh, bonding going on over there. John, tell us, pack it one, two, or three for Reservoir. Big two. Big two. All right. Camden, Jose, and Lillian, let's get all eight of these. I'd like to see some balloons. Help me out here. The so-called outer planets of our solar system are usually said to begin with what large planet, fifth from the sun? 
Jupiter. Jupiter is right. Yep. Some folks have a green thumb, but what king of ancient Phrygia supposedly had a golden touch that proved to be a curse? Midas. King Midas, that's right. Cemetery Hill, Culp's Hill, and Peach Orchard all saw heavy fighting in what major Civil War battle that took place in Pennsylvania in 1863? Gettysburg. That's right. Thank you, Lillian. Science question for your reservoir. Look at your monitor, please. The shrinkage of a plant cell away from its wall when in a hypertonic medium is best described by which of these words? Third one. Third one, plasmolysis. Well done. Though it never won any electoral votes, what political party did see its chief objective temporarily realized by the 18th Amendment? Prohibition. 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 I saw the light bulb go off on your head over there. Good answer. What large country on the Asian subcontinent inspired Kipling to create a variety of characters and stories such as the Jungle Book? India. India's right. Math question for your reservoir. Evaluate this expression, giving me your answer as a positive integer, please. Three. three. It is three, and I have 25 bonus points if you get this. Listen carefully. The Perdinalis River in Texas was famous in the 1960s because it was near the ranch of what 36th president? What you got? Four after, four after FDR. Johnson. LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson was the right answer. You got it. You got it. Take the four, 25. First time I've seen you guys smile all day. Congratulations. That's what we wanted to see happen. Howard, it's going to happen for you, too. I can just feel it in my bones. Alicia, pack up one or three for Howard. One. Number one. All right, Jonathan, John, and Tyler. Let's do the same thing. Let's hit it out of the park here. Archaeologists found the phrase, Quintus loves Drusilla, scrawled on a wall in what ancient Roman city destroyed along with Herculaneum by the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius? Pompeii. It is Pompeii. May and June are girls' names, but the playwright Strindberg shared his first name with what eighth month of the year? August. That's right. The boundaries of the Louisiana Purchase weren't finalized until the Monroe administration, although the land had been acquired during the term of what third president? Jefferson. Jefferson, yep. Science question, guys, on your monitor. During sexual reproduction, gametes unite to form the single cell that's known as which of these? Zygote. Zygote. You listen to Tyler. Zygote it is, indeed. Next, Alan Dulles, later a director of the CIA, was just eight years old when he wrote a book about what war involving Afrikaner and British forces in South Africa. What you got? Boer War. The Boer War. That's it, Tyler. George Orwell used a barnyard ruled by tyrannical pigs as a setting for what novel written as a con condemnation of communist government? Animal Farm. That's it. Math question. Look at your monitor. If the area of the rectangle is eight, what is the value of x? Two. It is two. 25 bonus points if you get this, Howard. Listen carefully. A book called Poems of Religion and Society was the work of what man who chose politics over poetry as our sixth U.S. president? Quincy Adams. JQA, you got it right, Howard. 25 bonus points. Takes the 535. I think he got bloody knuckles after all that fist bumping over there. One packet left, packet three. Let's go for the trifecta, Bel Air. I know you can do it. Here we go. Arthur, Alicia, and Nat Nathaniel. The Milwaukee Deep is not in Wisconsin, but is the deepest part of what second largest ocean? Atlantic. That's it. Good. Despite the island's name, a sheet of ice covers almost all of what Danish island, the largest in the world? Greenland. Greenland it is, yes. Hera and Athena were the runners-up in a mythical beauty contest that was won by what classical goddess of beauty? Aphrodite. Aphrodite it is. Science question for you, Bella, on your monitor. Social insects such as honeybees and wasps, which have a division of labor in their communities, are classified as belonging to what order of insects? Second one? Second one, Hymenoptera. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Nathaniel, for your help. Historians believe that Senlac Hill in England 
was the actual site of what 1066 battle won by William the Conqueror. What's you got? Uh, it's the Battle of Hastings, the Battle of Hastings. Next, romance flowered for what tragic Shakespearean heroine who says, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet when referring to young Mr. Montague. Juliet. Juliet is right. Math question for you, Bel Air. Evaluate this expression, giving me your answer as a positive integer, please. 32? It is 32. Good answer. Last question for you in this round. Although Medicare did not go into effect until 1966, it had been proposed earlier by what Democrat who served as our 33rd president? What you got? Mm. Harry Truman. Harry Truman was the right answer. Still a good round for Bel Air. Takes you 320 points. 320. stretch the grab bag round still anybody can win in this final round questions worth 20 points up or down 30 points up or down for the visuals let's check that score reservoir is at 425 howard is at 535 Bel Air is at 320 nicely played all right teams good luck to you we begin according to one survey people spend the most time on their phones in what state where some of those people live in yuma and tucson Howard? Arizona. Arizona, that's it. Much of Kurt Vonnegut's novel Slaughterhouse Five deals with the World War II firebombing of what German city? Reservoir? Berlin. Not Berlin, good try. Dresden was the right answer there. Of the seven deadly sins, which one suggests, suggests both laziness? Yes, Bel Air? Gluttony. Sloth. Sloth. Sloth is right, yes indeed. You. Notice that we wanted an animal there. Next, 30 points. Look at your monitor. This poster condemning the Dred Scott decision typified northern anger at what UF Chief Justice? Yes, Howard. Tanny. Tanny, Roger B. Tanny. Yes. Five. Listen carefully. One number is five times another, and their sum is 66. Give me either number. Yes. Six and 11. Uh, 11 and 55, so we will take... She gave me, gave me too much. She gave me too much. Sorry. Next. More than 120 years after Thomas Paine wrote The Crisis, a magazine called The Crisis was founded by what African-American leader? Yes, Reservoir. Du Bois. Du Bois is right. Yes. The world's most valuable sports franchise is once again Reservoir. Yankees. No, the Dallas Cowboys. Next, 30 points. Look at your monitor. Stars and stripes nailed to the pole. In 1909, this telegraph message was sent by what American explorer who, with Matthew Henson, had just reached the North Pole? His name was Robert Perry, P-E-A-R-Y. Next, here's a choice. An element with atomic number 19 will most likely combine chemically with the element whose number is 17, 18, or 20. You're thinking about the periodic table. Correct answer is 17. Next. Today, you could easily pay $24 just for lunch in what New York City borough, originally bought by Peter Minuit for the same price. Howard. Manhattan. Manhattan. Manhattan is right. You would have to scale. Well, we won't get to Mount Blanc because that buzzer says our game is over. We will be right back with a wrap up. Don't go away. And our winner today was 605 points, the team from Howard High School. Join us next week for Delaney Harford Tech and Salisbury Christian right here on It's Academic. Audience, come on down. Oh